What's good, internet? My name is Taxla. Welcome back to my 2K16 My Career. Let's play Ebenezer's Revenge on a fine Saturday as I fight the Bulgarian brute Rusev. And now my next goal here is obviously John Cena. But John Cena is stuck in this handicap one-on-three tag match, and therefore I cannot go, uh, you know, attack him on the ramp and make that shit happen. So let us just have our very dull match with Rusev. Actually, no, we're not having a match. We're not having a match, because you can see here, there is no turn on or off the entrances, and therefore, that means someone, don't know who, is going to attack us. Now, ideally, if John Cena attacked us, that'd be great. I don't think he's going to. Perhaps he's finally mad enough. I keep using his gimmicks and his finishers, but I somehow doubt that is actually the case here. So let's see, who is the lucky, lucky person to not get into a feud with us? Because I'm going to talk to Renee Young and say, nope, sorry. I'm too focused on trying to... Eric Rowan. Eric Rowan, the, re the, the reverse Seamus. He looks like that guy when, like, you buy the little thing in the store with, like, the beard, like, the drawn beard stuff with, like, the magnet thing. That's what he- I- I- I, don't, I can't remember what that- what, what that's called. That's what he fucking looks like. I don't give a shit about Eric Rowan. Like, of all the Wyatts, the least interesting Wyatt. Uh, and he- he almost had a storyline there for a little bit. Like, he was stalking Renee Young, and then he could magically solve a Rubik's Cube super fast, like he was super smart, or something. Like, they tried to give him stuff, and they just totally... Dropped it, much like I dropped him on his on his stupid head. So, whatever, Eric Rowan. So, I'll get into the news here in a second. As soon as we actually get into a match here, uh, had not planned on being attacked this morning. So, Eric Rowan can eat it. Yeah, Eric Rowan can certainly eat it. Yeah, get him tied up like a pretzel, Eric Rowan. Uh, was in the only stairs match with the Big Show, because, you know, that's a thing that happened one time, when it was tables, ladders, chairs, and stairs. Yeah, stairs match. It was dumb. It was real dumb. And now we get a Renee Young interview asking us about Eric Rowan. And I'm like, no, it's not going to happen. I'm not going to get locked into a goddamn Eric Rowan feud that is just death. Eh. It's all part of the business. This business. This is all part of the business. People are going Skip. To you two have been clashing. By a lot, you mean this one time? This Literally this one time? I wouldn't say that's a lot, Renee. You're a, you're not a very good interview, Renee. Uh, I'm brushing him off. I don't think it's a rivalry bye, bye. at all. Bye, bye. Like Bigger goals in mind, like finishing my career mode after 200 plus episodes. That'd be nice. Is what it is. Thanks for the time. There you have it. Back to you, Cole. Alright, now, maybe, just maybe, you will allow me to get into an actual match today. And I can sit here, I have like a list of news stories and whatnot, and I wanted to discuss them. But, wait, what, I can't... Ugh. Dear video game, it's kind of hard to attack John Cena coming down the ramp when I'm in a match with John Cena. Why would you do that to me? Incomprehensible. Anyway, as promised, as promised, anytime that I fight John Cena, anytime that John Cena is happening here, we're going down into the options, and we go hard to legend, because obviously John Cena would be that difficult. So last time, we came real close, real close, and could not get the job done, uh... Hold on, just two seconds, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump cut. I'm gonna spend my points here on my SP, on my abilities, and hopefully I'll, I'll just give me a little bit of an edge there to match up with John Cena. Well, didn't quite get us to 95, but it's getting, it's getting closer. It's getting closer. All right, now I suppose uh, we're gonna fight John Cena. I can't attack him, but we're just gonna fight him. I don't think that winning a non-title match in uh, this mode grants you a rivalry. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I don't actually know. Uh, and you would think I would at this point, having played 50-something uh, hours of this game, but I don't. Anyway, 
It is Saturday, and man, I missed on some news stuff yesterday. I was obviously out of town, recording some things that you, you, you may have seen at this point, uh, if you are subscribed to the channel. Uh, there is a uh, new video up with Echomog, um, and that was fun, and there will be a few more of those in the coming weeks. Uh, we, we recorded a couple of those, and that, that was a good time, so go check those out. Uh, that will be a, a, a Saturday thing, uh, and yeah, um, so I missed out on the fact that yesterday morning, cause obviously I had recorded Friday's episode on Thursday, I missed out yesterday morning on the fact that Jerry Lawler, uh, is suspended indefinitely because he was arrested due to a domestic violence dispute with his, you know, very young girlfriend, uh, and that is... Like, his personal life, whatever, uh, obviously, they have a very zero-tolerance policy. Obviously, as you see with Adam Rose, as you, as you saw with Kevin Nash, there is definitely a zero-tolerance policy on that stuff. So, that is obviously what they have to do in regards to those kinds of issues. Like, I get that. Um, and certainly, that does change up, you know, the announced team stuff a bit. He was doing SmackDown uh, with Morrow, and, uh, I think he was doing Superstars, too? I don't know. Um, but he was de definitely on SmackDown, and he was doing the pay-per-views. Uh, so it was Cole and Lawler and JBL on pay-per-views. So, obviously, who are they gonna have this Sunday at, at Money in the Bank? Obviously not, not Lawler. So, uh, I think the larger, more, uh, interesting implication is what do they do for 2K, 2K17? That game is coming out in October. There, I don't know that there's, there's enough time to go, you know, record somebody else with all his dialogue um, before that game comes out. So do you leave it in? Do you just awkwardly rip it out so there's just a whole lot, lot more silence on the commentary side? Like, how do you handle that for the video game uh, that is so close to release? Certainly we had a similar issue with 2K15, with all that CM Punk content, that CM Punk, you know, that that was all done, and he just pieced the fuck out, and it was all still, you know, in that game, and he obviously had to get paid for it and everything else, that was a whole big fucking nightmare, so... That remains to be seen, how they're gonna handle 2K17, I'll be very curious, uh, you know, if, if these, these issues get resolved, I know that Nash had his, you know, stuff with his son resolved, and they reinstated his Legends contract, so, uh, like, it, it, it wouldn't surprise me to, to, you know, see it get, get resolved and then have him come back. And wouldn't be the first time that Muller's, you know, been, you know, left or been fired or, you know, whatever else. He's certainly had a very long career in this kind of stuff. So, anyway, that's kind of, you know, that news broke when I would normally be recording an episode of this show. But, because, because I, I'd already recorded it for, uh, you know for not being here, uh, then I was not able to, uh, make that happen. We are evenly matched, John Cena. We are evenly shit. Really? Fisherman suplex from John Cena? I don't believe it. Here we go. Goddamn five-knuckle shuffle. Anyway, um, moving on to news source b b b b before I get completely trounced by Cena again, because, you know, that's kind of what happens here on this on, on Legend. Screw you and your damn charge finisher, John Cena. I thought I had that. I fucking thought I had that. Screw you. Screw you, John Cena. Made you use it. Now, now what? Now I just get my ass whipped again? Oh, what, what, what? Can't see cheese! Watch him reverse it. Watch him reverse it. Yep, yep. He knows how the move, fucking move works. Um, that sucks. That, I might have to rethink this legend, uh, difficulty thing, because I might just never actually beat John Cena, which, you know, would be realistic, but also, that means that, that I would, this, this career mode would never end, because I would never beat John Cena on, on legend, so, I don't know. You guys, let, let me know what you think. Should I dial it back to hard for John Cena? Um, come back. Guess what, come back? Oh, 
How did he do that? F you. I want to give you the F you. And he's taunting me? Guess what? You get fucking... You get your own comeback. Nope. There, yep. There it is. Dropping it. Now I have a signature, John Cena. Now I have a signature again. And we're going to hit the signature and hopefully you can't see Cheese hit the attitude adjustment. There we go. And now we charge our finisher. Now you get the Ebenezer. Nope, he reversed it. This is the problem. John Cena is John Cena. Anyway, uh, supposedly, uh, the roster here, uh, with the brand split, they are calling up a bunch of guys who are kind of in their 40s to come back and work matches because they realize, oh god, we gotta fill up two rosters with a brand split. Now they had rumors that they were gonna, you know, be, be, um, roll them up! Fruit roll up! Fruit roll up! They had rumors about the fact that uh, they were going to be raiding NXT. Um, and, you know, you kind of expect that. Obviously, what does that mean for NXT as a brand moving forward? Who knows? Um, but he's asking, give me an STF. He's giving me the STF. No! Get away. Ah. Oh. Great. Now we get, yep, this is just classic. I can't hit that timing. It's so damn small. Great, here we go. I kicked out of that. Holy shit. That's never going to happen again. I'm still in this. You, you would have thought Paige would put, put a help me there. Um, yeah, so they're supposedly, they're, they're like, you, you just literally released, like, eight or nine guys. Now you're going to be making a bunch of phone calls? Like, what the fuck was the point of that? Did you not realize with the brand split happening, you're not going to have enough guys to have two distinct rosters that you want to plan for? Like, seriously? This, what, what, the, what the shit is that? Um, it's kind of baffling. Uh, what else? Uh, supposedly... Oh, you know, he's getting his comeback. No, crawling away. You can fuck off, John Cena. You can fuck off. Damn it. Damn you. He gets his comeback. He gets his finisher. Yep, here we go. Hits that. Hits the signature. It's just classic John Cena all day long. Uh, apparently Brock Lesnar will be allowed to use his WWE theme music when he comes to the ring for UFC. That's hilarious. Um, and... A bit of a last minute thing here. Uh... They've changed the Money in the Bank card. Uh, now, uh, Golden Truth versus Brizongo is going to be a match on the pre-show. And they've moved the, the other matches to the main show, which is weird. So, that happened. Don't reverse it. Alright, I'm going to make him sp spend his finisher here. Make him spend it. Spend it. He didn't spend it, really? Ah, oh, i got to make him sp spend that finisher. I have to. Fruit, roll up! Woo! Come on, ref, count it! Make him burn that finisher. He's not burning that finisher. Crap. I really want him to burn it. Oh, god damn it. I don't think I can kick out of another attitude. I, I don't think I can. I... D <sighs> Paige! Paige saved me! I love you, Paige. Ah. Oh. He's already 85, though, so, uh, this is gonna... I need to hit my finisher and end this match. I really, really do. I don't know if it'll, that, that'll even do it, but... John Cena running roughshod on a fine Saturday! Oh! I've got no... nothing. I got nothing. I got nothing. Don't come near me, John Cena. Ah! Oh. What are you doing? You're the worst. You're the worst. I got no stamina. He drained my stamina somehow. I'm not entirely sure how he how he did that. Really? Okay. I've got no stamina. There's no way I'm gonna get another AA and make it out of it. There's no effing way. Oh, enough of this shit. 
Um, yeah, so I'll be curious to see how they handle the Money in the Bank booking and whatever else. Uh, definitely very curious to see how it's gonna. I hate this shit. I've got no. S He's letting me go. Nope. Eat it. Nope. I just want my fucking stamina back. I just want stamina back. That's it. Ebenezer! Nope. Didn't do it. Didn't do it. That's not the Ebenezer. You piece of shit. How did he reverse the reversal? Oh, because he has two finishers because he's John Cena. I definitely need to stop playing this game on Legend. Definitely. Because this is not going to go well. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. He is just having a ball with it now. He is just having the time of his damn life, and I can't reverse to save my fucking life today. Just. Here we go. It's something. It's not really a pinfall. I can't even get to him. I can't even get to him. That's not gonna work. Dig in, dig down deep, John Cena. Never give up, never surrender. He will never give up. I'm gonna keep trying to hit the fucking fruit roll up here. That's it. My legs on the rope. I'm literally cheating here. Literally cheating. Didn't work. Fruit roll up, motherfucker. That's it. So keep doing it. Count it, ref. I'm going to give him th 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 three finishers. Ah. He's going to keep hitting the same moves. And uh, hope for a different... Out. I can't get up. I got no stamina. This is a four-star match. With John Cena. One. Two. Like, he's not burning his... Finishers as part of his resiliency, and you would think he would, but he's not, which is unusual. There we go. Nice all. There we go. Nice German. Or er, um, I'm sorry. That's well, kind of a German. That's a rope break. It's a rope break. Just did. I am in desperation mode here because he's John Cena, and I'm on Legend here, which is uh. Making things difficult. Go. I'm gonna get these flash pins on you, John Cena. It's going to happen. Swinging it. Trying it again. Now he has three. He literally has three finishers. He literally could just, you know run roughshod through me and two friends and not have it be an issue. I'm hitting a button here. It's not working. He's groggy. Proof roll up. This referee is the worst. John Cena's getting mad here. Stop trying to fucking pin me, asshole. Alright. Drop him on his goddamn head. Look at his energy. Like, how is he still kicking out and not using those finishers? How is he? How is he? How? How? Someone explain to me how this is even possible. Because I don't get it. It is extraordinarily. Oh, there we go. He's doing the fucking roll up. Nope. Didn't get it. Didn't get it. There you go, John Cena. John Cena rolled me up. Had three finishers and rolled me up. And there you go. Your winner, as always, that I'm totally going to attack on the ramp and get into a feud with at some point in this show. Hopefully tomorrow. Um, John Cena. So that was fun, I guess. I don't know. I feel like I got pretty close there, but just couldn't make it happen. John Cena is just too much of a force to be reckoned with, etc., etc. So that wraps up today's episode of the My Career Mode. Obviously, we're not in a feud with John Cena yet, but man, it is going to happen. 
It is going to happen. Uh, I don't care how long it takes. Oh, hey, Rusev again. Uh, let's see if he's, on, if he's on, this, on, this, on this damn show. Where is your stupid face? Not even on the show. Tomorrow's gonna be a waste. Seriously. That's, he's, he's avoiding this, this eventuality of me getting in his feud, so... Tune in. Uh, I'm thinking to change it off a of legend for Cena because it's just it might never happen, and I want to finish his career before 2K17 comes out. So until then, and until next time, and as always, I am your host Saxlock, and I will see you next time and every day for more videos right here on this channel. And I'm out.